Well, there's no denying that menopause is a challenging time for women. Navigating all the changes can be confusing, exhausting, and certainly frustrating. Yeah, but one doctor is helping women cut through the menopause clutter. Functional medicine doctor Gabrielle Lyon is the author of Forever Strong, a science-based strategy for aging well. And she joins us now with advice to help women through menopause. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. You Thank two you are just here. amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in because what happens to our body during menopause and how can you tell you're actually going through it? I know that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Well menopause is not just one day. It typically is a handful of years of changing hormones, sleep, mood changes and of course night sweats and body composition changes. Here's how you know that you are officially in menopause. Mm -hmm. One year without a period. Okay. Wow. All right, well, there are dozens of menopause symptoms. It's not just the not getting the period. Let's mm -hmm. go through some yeah. of the most common and maybe some of the, the lesser known symptoms. Yeah, I think that one of the lesser known symptoms is a change in balance. And you had mentioned also dry eye. Mm -hmm. Some of these things happen when you're going through menopause, believe it or not. So balance like your equilibrium? Yes, oh, because wow. there, there is um, estrogen impact in the brain. Oh. which is one reason why it's so important to be physically active when we think about how do we combat menopause. Women think that you have to gain weight. Right. And Let's talk a little bit about yeah, that weight gain, though, because some women do have weight gain around yeah. their lower belly area. Re redistribution <laughs> it's of the redistribution yeah, yeah. because of the change in hormones. Typically, the decrease in estrogen and the change in balance of testosterone we do see a redistribution of body fat, but doesn't mean just because it can happen doesn't mean that it has it to. Happen. So do you then change your diet you or, do. Do you, or what type of exercises you do? This is where diet and exercise become increasingly important. And that's exactly what I covered in Forever Strong because it's never too late to change your body composition. It's never too late to become strong. Resistance exercise is critical and key. Mm -hmm. Lifting weights, this is the time, ladies, the time to protect bone and brain function. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as body composition. And then of course, mm -hmm. increasing dietary protein, which by the way, most women are meeting the minimum requirement. Wow, I mm -hmm. love that. I already do the three to four times, you know, <laughs> the uh, weight training. So okay, amazing. That'll work out for me. Let's talk about your book, Forever Strong, a science-based strategy for aging well. It was on the New York Times bestseller list Twice. just a week after it was released. Congratulations. <laughs> so what type of help do, do you hope that women walk away with from reading this? Number one, it's never too late to be strong. It's mm -hmm. never too late to take control of your body and skeletal muscle is the organ of longevity. And we've spent so much time focused on what we have to lose, like weight, rather than what we have to gain, Ooh, I love that. like muscle. Yeah. And this is a much more empowering message for everybody, for yeah. women, for men, for children. We can do this. I love that. All right. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Lyon. We appreciate you being here today. And if you would like more information in order to purchase Dr. Lyon's book, it's called Forever Strong. Just follow her on Instagram or go to her website. The information you see it right there on your screen. Thank you so much.